It's all systems go for Anthony Albanese, but we're taking a moment tonight to look back at the man who went from public housing to Prime Minister. A life of many twists and turns, even a near-death experience. But the kid from Camperdown never gave up. Leader at last. A journey that's taken 26 years. Anthony Albanese was 33 when, despite many writing him off, he was elected to Parliament as the newly anointed member for Grangler. I grew up in public housing in the inner city of Sydney as the son of a pensioner. And this is where it all started, 41 Piermont Bridge Road, Camperdown. So I put that on the wall, the, the number, numbers, you screwed them in. the number, yeah. down here was where you learnt how to ride a bike, ride a skateboard and you had to take this corner here. Right. Mr Albanese was raised by his mother Mary Ann. He was told his father had died in a car accident. But when he was 14, his mother told him the truth. She had fallen pregnant while on a European cruise. In 2011, Mr Albanese tracked down his father, Carlo, in Italy. He died in 2014, mm. so the last thing he said to me was, I'm, I'm glad I found you. He has said he was born with three great faiths, the Labor Party, the Catholic Church and the South Sydney Rabbitohs. I've been underestimated my whole life. I've also been lifted up by others who saw something in me. He long saw himself as kingmaker rather than the man to step up and wear the crown. Bob Hawke was his role model. Do you share any vices? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a pretty, uh, pretty straightforward bloke and uh, I've never had a cigarette in my life. He married his unique girlfriend, Carmel Tebbett, she went on to be Deputy New South Wales Premier. The marriage ended after being together for 30 years. They have a son, Nathan. I didn't want the marriage to end and I didn't see it as ending. Um, we'd spent Christmas together. Uh, I thought we would end our life together. He spent 26 years in politics but just six in government, during which he held the infrastructure portfolio. In 2012, he backed Kevin Rudd over Julia Gillard in a leadership spill. I have devoted uh, my life to advancing the cause of labour. Colleagues say his defining traits are his authenticity and decency. In Marrickville today, unsurprisingly, he's a local hero. A terrific fella. We had a cup of coffee once, and you know, I know all about him. You know, he just pops in, and there he is, Elbow, and he says hello to you. He has time, um, have a chat. Absolutely. It's like the prime minister next door. Yeah, you, you feel you feel a connection to him. A turning point in the Albanese story came in 2019, when his car was rammed by a Range Rover. Did you think you were going to die? Absolutely. It was an extraordinary moment where it was just uh, factual. This is how it ends. But out of that crash stepped Albo Mark II. He slimmed down. There were the flash glasses and a new determination. And same year, a new partner, 43-year-old Jody Hayden, an officer with the New South Wales Public Service Association. So Kirribilli House will soon be home to its first blended family. A 59-year-old divorcee in Albo, his partner, 16 years his junior, maybe his son, and even first dog Toto. Probably I won't see him again, see what I mean? Early next week, the Camperdown kid with the earring will be head-to-head -head with the leader of the free world in Japan. It was his mother who believed he could go far. To my mum, Mary Ann. Who's, who's beaming down on us. Thank you. Mark Burroughs, Nine News.